focus during these last 10 nights that you pray your obligatory prayers on time. Maghrib, Isha and Fajr every single night. Make sure, make sure. Because Laylat al-Qadr is during these times. It's between these times. Laylat al-Qadr is between Maghrib and Fajr. So take care of these because these are the obligations. Everything you're going to do in between other than Isha is going to be voluntary. So it doesn't make sense that you neglect the obligation and then you focus on that which is voluntary. Don't fall in this trap and this mistake. Focus on your obligatory prayers. Perfect them. Then give time for the voluntary prayers. You'll feel much more comfortable that way. Now, and so the best thing, as we said, in how you're going to spend these nights, prayer, Quran, and dua. Prayer, Quran, and dua. And these three things can be all joined in a salat. So how do you do this? By standing long time while you're standing, reading Quran, spend a long time reading Quran, and in sujood, long dua. And don't be confused and say, but I don't know a lot of Quran, what do I read? You can open the Mus'haf and read from the Mus'haf. That's permissible. If you don't know how to read, Read one surah and repeat it. Repeat it 50 times, 100 times, no problems. Even if it was one ayah, you know, repeat the ayah, repeat the ayah 100 times. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it was narrated that he stood in salat one whole night repeating one ayah in the Quran. And that is the second last ayah in surah al-Ma'idah. إن تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك وإن تغفر لهم فإنك أنت العزيز الحكيم. He repeated this ayah the entire night, you know, and when the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was in Mecca, and Allah had commanded him from the early days in Mecca to get up and pray the nights, what did he have of the Quran? He only had اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق and something from سورة المزمل وسورة الفاتحة. That's it. How is Allah telling him, pray the whole night? قُمِ اللَّيْلِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا Pray the entire night except a little bit of the night, go and sleep. How? He only had a few ayat. He repeated the ayat, right? So there's no issue. Repeat the ayat. Everyone can have a long standing. If you cannot stand, sit. Sit. Don't waste the opportunity. The best thing you can do is be in salat. Because salat, it brings the night to life. In salat, all the pillars of Islam gather in Salat. Did you know this? All the pillars of Islam gather in Salat. What are the pillars of Islam? Ash-Shahada. Ash-Shahada. Ash-Shahadu an la ilaha illallah wa ash-Shahadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. So when you're praying, you are fulfilling Ash-Shahada, which is a tawheed You're fulfilling tawheed You're praying for Allah Azza wa Jal. Well, Salat is full of dhikr. It's dhikr. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-Azim. It's full of dhikr. Tayyip. Then the next pillar in Islam is a salat a salat is salat the third pillar in islam is fasting in in salat you are fasting you're not allowed to eat you're not allowed to drink then uh, the fourth pillar in islam as uh, zakat as zakat طيب. how is zakat fulfilled in your salat you know uh, how is this the case ulama rahimahumullah they said that when you stand in prayer your salat is a purification for your time just like zakatul mal is a purification for your money. And time is equal to money. Allahu Akbar. Yani the time, time is equal to money. So when you have money, you give it zakat. That's how you purify your money. 2.5% you give zakat. But how do you purify your time? Your time, your time. That is full of sin and transgression. How do you purify this time? By a salat. Therefore, a salat is the zakat of time. Salat purifies your time. When you stand those minutes, those hours in salat, you are purifying your time. And then the last pillar of Islam is al-hajj. And how is salat related to al-hajj? Because al-hajj, the hujjaj, they intend the house of Allah. They go to the house of Allah. And in salat, you are facing the house of Allah. So there is that element that is shared with al-hajj. In salat, you are facing the house of Allah, which is al-qibla. Allahu Akbar. So the best thing you can do is as-salat, long standings, reading the Qur'an, repeating the ayat, if you don't know a lot of Qur'an, if you get tired, sit down, 
and then long sujood in where you make dua in this sujood and the best dua as we said Allahumma inna ka'afu tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni Allahu Akbar and for the woman that cannot observe the prayer or the sick person that is unable to stand in prayer or sit and pray uh, doesn't matter read Quran listen to Quran make dua dhikr charity as i said to you my brothers and sisters in islam the main thing is that allah azawajal sees sincerity and honesty in your heart that's it this is the main thing if allah was to see sincerity whatever if you're reading quran praying whatever you're doing be sincere and honest with it and if allah was to accept that that's it you earned laylatul qadr 